So I bring in all the wishes and greetings to you from uh, Speed Medical Institute on behalf of all the faculties and the team members uh, to Dr. Mithun Ram for scoring a topmost rank uh, in NEET SS 2021 session in MCA specialty of MCA endocrine surgery rank number 9. Thank you sir. It's a great phenomenal achievement and uh, top of the world and uh, next day after results a happy day for you. Yeah, definitely sir, definitely. <laughs> So, and I think a happy day for you, for you and your family today and, uh, and I think uh, all final stage set in and to the medical career that you aimed at and I will be moving towards that and I am very happy for you and, uh, and I also want to ask you and where you, where you come from and where you did your medicine, where you did your MS and why do you want to do an endocrine surgery? So, I am uh, from Chennai, uh, born and brought up in Chennai. Um, MBBS and MS both I did in Christian Medical College, Velour. Great. So, from my MBBS days, I have been in Velour only. So, practically right now, I'm, uh, I belong, <laughs> belong to Velour more than 15 years now. Um, endocrine surgery, actually, I, my, I've had a long exposure to endocrine surgery because uh, we have a good department here in uh, CMC Velour. So, after my MBBS, we, have a, we had a bond. So, post MBBS bond. So, one year of uh, my post MBBS bond I did in uh, endocrine surgery and uh, they were the ones who actually taught me basic general surgery because that time it was uh, just branched off from a general surgery unit. So, uh, from then onwards I have been uh, sort of attached to them. So, during my MS days also I had a good time with them. Post MS I spent about uh, six months with them as a senior resident and uh, they gave me a very good uh, exposure to endocrine surgery so as equivalent to an mch registrar at a post ms level so my, my interest in endocrine surgery has been a long journey so that is why the decision to do endocrine surgery sir. great now uh, so you are uh, undergrad and also a postgrad from cmc velour and uh, i mean uh, you are a long experience and again you are going to plan your uh, mch endocrine surgery where it's quite obvious. My first uh, priority will be uh, CMC Velour, of course. Um, that is definitely uh, uh, God willing. Definitely, that is on, on the cards. And uh, apart from that, yeah, I, I, the number of institutions are quite limited. So correct. It's, it's, it's basically it's Chennai, Velour, or Lucknow. So I think these three cities. So being from Chennai, MMC is also quite close to heart but again i'll have to make that decision taking into consideration a lot of other factors family and all that so i think as of now the way it stands cmc definitely i think that is priority number one and maybe lucknow and then chennai so that's and, and i wish you and i wish you you land up in your own in your own alma mater for your soul thank, you, thank you so much sir. <laughs> okay so can can we know something about your preparation strategy when did you start your preparation how did you prepare because the number of seats are limited, number of people are preparing is also limited in both in both ways. Uh, because number of seat itself uh, really motivates a lot of people that so less and how will I be able to get. So how are we able to get out of that mindset? So uh, I think first thing which uh, is that I uh, sat down and chose that this is definitely the specialty that I want to focus on. I think that was the first decision that I made at, by the time I finished my MS. I was more or less sure that this was the speciality I was uh, going towards. So that was the first step. Second thing is uh, definitely you, uh, we are now in an era where we cannot sit. I mean, most lot of us who are working, who have families to take care of and amidst all this to study for a, a national level exam is definitely a challenge. There is no doubt about it. That way, I think speed was a wonderful platform. And uh, that really gave, it's, it's basically gives us a structure to focus our preparation. I think that is what a lot of us find it difficult, don't have the time to plan, don't have the time to uh, guide, to give us a direction. I think that way speed was uh, very helpful. Now, the preparation wise, I actually uh, wanted uh, to give obviously more priority to the specialty paper, which was amounting to 60 marks. And uh, the way I prepared for um, uh, speciality was uh, based on the uh, uh, speed uh, classes only. And I think I should really uh, uh, specifically mention uh, Dr. Shikil, uh, Dr. Altaf, uh, Dr. Anish, 
Dr. Saitya Priya, Dr. Adash. I think the uh, few of them I personally know because of uh, uh, Dr. Shikil I worked with in CMC while he was here. And I know him through his MCH. And a lot of people from MMC come to CMC for their peripheral posting. So I know them very well. And some of them I recognize after seeing them on the speed app. And they recognize me as well. So uh, that way I'm very thankful to them because th those classes were really, uh, that's what made the difference. Uh, because end of the day, there were a lot of multiple opinions from people uh, saying endocrine surgery, you don't have to read too much in depth. You stick to uh, Schwartz and Sabiston predominantly. Um, that is definitely true. But I think in this exam, what I found out that reading a specialty book, I think Orlo Clark based, based classes was definitely that, that gives you an edge. There were a few questions, which I don't think you, I would have been able to answer if I had read uh, only Sabison and Schwartz. General surgery, again, I, I didn't give that much importance. Um, uh, it was like a mixed bag and I definitely gave one month for revising uh, general surgery and endocrine surgery. Speed lectures were uh, really a boon uh, to quickly go through the topic. I think this MCQ based to read through the chapter takes a lot of time and uh, that those MCQ discussions actually uh, gives a lot of uh, insight into what you need to give focus on. I think that that has been really helpful and you've been a very inspirational teacher. I'm uh, very inspired by the amount of uh, commitment and effort that you put into your classes. So that has been an inspiration. I have, in fact, I was, uh, I had taken speed coaching for my PG entrance also. I have been seeing you for a long time. <laughs> and, uh, thank you for all your efforts for us. So when was that? When was that uh, a PG? PG was 2014-15. Okay, in Chennai? Chennai, the ASI auditorium. Okay, in ASI. I used to come every weekend, I used to come from Velo. Big crowd. So, it's it's like a like a stadium. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Energy levels are different. Yes, definitely, sir point of time and uh, so now it has been migrated to an online platform today and uh, it was initially a little difficult for me to adopt to such kind of uh, uh, sitting in a place like sitting in a flight aircraft and uh, <laughs> going through an one hour uh, class itself was like a one day for me so it's all so compressed the thought process and everything but eventually uh, all of us got used to it after uh, after the covid and there's no other way and even students and uh, faculties like us got used to it. Now we started enjoying thoroughly right now. <laughs> it has become like one to one now. Though there are one to many, but actually with student to teacher is only one to one. Now we feel very uh, easy to approach them. And uh, fine, uh, then that's how it is. Everything changes and we need to change. <laughs> so now, uh, I mean, I'm, I mean, as far as uh, the MCH uh, super speciality uh, is concerned, and it's a uh, final end game for a surgeon. I mean, uh, he has to land somewhere. And uh, I mean, that's how for everybody, I mean, every surgeon today, as you rightly said, and uh, I mean, that's how you have landed in, uh, in endocrine surgery that you wanted to do. And we are very happy for that. And, and what is the message that you want to give? I mean, what is that you, if you want to thank or appreciate someone, you have an exclusive one minute, uninterrupted, whatever you want to say, uh, you can deliver. Um. I think thanking is a lot of people to thank. Uh, firstly, uh, God and uh, after that family and I think I consider teachers also as part of my family. Uh, people uh, including you, people from my department, from my uh, 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 general surgery department as well as uh, mentors in uh, uh, super specialty department. And uh, I think family definitely big thank you to them. They have been very supportive through all this, you know, uh, uh, they have the innumerable amount of complaints and uh, uh, tantrums they have put up with uh, during this uh, time. Um, and uh, uh, definitely, uh, I think message to people who are preparing is that uh, stay focused. I mean, now there are a lot of changes, pattern change, a uh, lot of confusion happening. But I think at the end of the day, it does not matter because it is an exam and if you do well in the exam, the seat is yours. So I think that should be the only focus and not get distracted with all the other court cases and the multiple other uh, changes in patterns. Uh, stick to basics and I think it's pretty obvious that the uh, exam is becoming very uh, clinical oriented. So I think that makes a big difference. Very long questions, scenario based questions. 
So I think Speed has done a great job in adopting to that kind of style of questioning, image-based questions. I think that is very important. Uh, this year's general surgery was a bit of a googly. Sixer. But, uh, I, think, <laughs> I, I, I think maybe innovate the the it segregates the competition. So it may be a it may have been a blessing in disguise for many people. So there's uh, one one thing about neat superficiality is you cannot how much you can be prepared is it's based on your confidence. I think that is what. Uh, makes a difference and definitely I would uh, tell anybody to take up a platform such as speed to uh, build their preparation around that is very essential and start as early as possible probably even during MS I did not do it during MS but maybe during MS would have made a difference I don't know really wonderful doctor and great interacting with you today and thanks for your time also immediately after the exams you were with us and uh, and thanks for supporting speed from undergrad from postgraduate entrance to SS and uh, thank you and uh, once again best wishes to you and to your family and to have a great career in endocrine surgery and being a you, the surgery is I mean the speciality is evolving and growing big and your contribution uh, will definitely be a great um, asset for your speciality and also millions of people are going to be benefited out of your service in years to come is going to be enormous and huge and best wishes. Thank Keep you, going. Sir. All the best. We'll keep in touch. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir.